Thanks for joining us. I'm Randall Bennett. Windows 7, we've heard a reported release date of potentially October. We've heard a lot of other rumors, but this Tuesday, May 5th, Windows 7 will hit its release candidate status. And for the general public, that means they'll be able to download it and test it out. Now Microsoft has said that they're going to extend this test all the way through June 2010, which is well past the reported launch date of Windows 7. Now, what does this mean? Why is Microsoft doing this? And are they trying to make up for some of those Vista woes? We bring in two experts who know what they're talking about. We have Chris Spira from GearDiary.com. Chris, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Also, Aya Zaktar from Gadgetel.com. Aya, thanks for being with us. Thank you. So this is kind of one of the situations where, you know, people are excited because it's free stuff. I mean, everyone gets excited when something's free. Um, Chris, this is some. You know, this is going to be extended all the way through 2010. Do you think that this maybe will hurt Windows 7's launch, or do you think it'll just help build buzz for the company? I definitely see this as a plus. All right. Um, if it, in this economy, and I hate to use that kind of buzzword, but if it's Great. free, it's for me. All right. I'm going to be able to go ahead and actually use this. I've got the beta installed on my MacBook. I'm enjoying it now. It's my production machine. Uh, but any improvements, are, it's a going to be a real big plus. I see the uh, Microsoft extending a helping hand to the American people uh, and to the people of the world, uh, allowing them to go ahead and use the operating system at least for a little bit uh, until it's time for them to go ahead and actually uh, go and out and, and purchase their own legal copy. So this is, you know, obviously it's a benefit for consumers, but I'm sure Microsoft isn't doing this wholly just for the people's benefit. I ask, what's your take on this whole thing? Do you think well, that this is, a, this is a Microsoft gag? I think what's going on is that basically we're all beta testers, and this is going to be good publicity for them no matter what. Uh, just think about it. Instead of it, because of all these social networks right now, a ton of people are going to download this, and it'll be like on the Facebook status update saying, try it out seven, it's pretty good. Or they're going to say, this sucked. And they're basically going to get a ton of feedback without giving us anything back. <laughs> uh, a lot of publicity, and it's a, I mean, it's a brilliant move. I mean, nobody wants to talk Vista anymore, and they're, they're moving straight ahead. And the quicker they get this out on Tuesday, I mean, this is going to be—it's going to be huge. It's going to be everywhere. Every everybody's personal blog is going to have Windows 7 is whatever. Yeah, whatever they find out it is. Do, uh, Chris, do you think this might be a little bit of uh, you know almost an overhype? Do you think so many people will be talking about this that we'll see kind of that effect where you know so many people are talking about it that they react the other way? Maybe kind of you know a little bit of strike back before the Windows 7 actually officially hits store shelves. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I was thinking about that I was, as I was listening here, and uh, I, like I, as I, I, I agree, it's only going to be a, a positive thing for, for Microsoft. It's only going to be, uh, gosh, free publicity. I mean, yeah. honest to God, like I was saying, people are going to be tweeting everything right on down the line. Installed I did this, it. Did that, I used it, yeah. So, I'm sorry? Oh, I just said, you know, people are going to be tweeting, I installed it, I used it, all these different things. Right, right, right. And I, I, I think that you know that kind of uh, free publicity is going to be absolutely. I mean, you, you can't beat it with a stick. You really can't. Well, and since people have had their hands on it before, maybe it's a little bit of a better calculated move because you know people. Microsoft knows that people like this so far. People have been responding positively, and maybe that's due in part to the low expectations set by Vista. But either case, this might be, well, I, I'm glad they're giving away for free at least. Let's switch gears for a second and talk about Palm. Now, we talked yesterday on the show, uh, we, we'd only seen the, the uh, spec list for maybe half an hour before we hit our show yesterday. And we heard that Palm's follow-up to the pre is kind of in the leak stage already. They're calling it the EOS. And now some people have said this is going to be the Centro 2. There's a ton of different names for it, including Pixie, Castle. So I'm sure that once we get a little bit closer to this thing's potential launch, in the fall, we'll know a little bit more about it. Ayaz, what's your take on this device? You know, we've had about 24 hours to really digest this new handset. How, what do you think of this so far? You know, I'm starting to think that Palm is, they're basically fooling all of us. They're like, you know what? We're not going to get a focus group. We're going to get all you tech journalists to write about this. So here's some product we might make. We're talking about what, the, the later half of the year the thing's supposed to come out? It's basically like, they're gonna, they don't want another folio happening. They're not like, okay, here's this piece of junk. What do you think of it? <laughs> they're going, hey, we oh, accidentally leaked this thing for you, and now what do you think? And now everyone seems to love the idea. I mean, it's a, it's a good idea. Like, I think they're talking $99 yeah. for the contract price. And because the feedback's been positive, they might actually make it. That's what I'm starting to think this is. It's just a big marketing uh, 
bonanza right now. I mean, that's not out of the question for sure. I think it's an interesting concept. Chris, what's your take? Uh, well, I went ahead and I looked at the, some of the specs online, and, and just this is a standard um, uh, post-it notepad, and uh, comes to about here and about here. This thing is about as big as the original Nano. Okay. Um, the list price for the Central is about two seventy nine. The list price for the EOS is is three forty nine. If they are going to go ahead and make this thing available for ninety nine bucks, um, I don't know. I prefer this is the form factor that I prefer, but. No, nah, I don't know. Yeah, you're not so convinced that the rumors are I'm not true? so convinced yet. Well, I mean, what's the real drawback for you? Do you think it's that price, or do you think that, you know, the size, the dimensions, or what's the part, the real root of the speculation that kind of makes you think this isn't going to happen? Uh, I'm a big Trio fan. I'm a big uh, Blackjack fan. I, this is the form factor that I love. All right, this is what I want. I want to be able to go ahead and email and text. I live and die by email. Um, the keys on this thing are going to be absolutely impossible for anybody to use. <laughs> Um, the screen is going to be small. I'm uh, in my uh, early 40s, and I'm going blind already. <laughs> I can't see squat. Yeah. Um, the screen is only like, what, 2.63 inches? Um, I'm not going to be able to see a thing. Yeah, so and we'll have to see if those specs come true. I mean, I think that's really the make or break thing. If that, si if that size really is that small, and you know all that stuff, all that reporting is accurate. I think, yeah, maybe I don't know. At least maybe the kids will pick it up because it's so tiny. But uh, us business users will have to stick to the pre. Guys, we're out of time, so we'll have to leave it there. Chris Spira from GearDiary.com, thanks for being with us. Also, I is Actar from Gadgetel.com. We have links to all of their sites and all the stories we talked about today on TechV.com, and you can get us on YouTube, on iTunes, everywhere on the internet. It's it's magic. See you later, guys. Bye. -bye.